G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Dragon's Dogma, The Dark Arisen Guide. And last time I told you about the Throw Blast, which is a throwable item which causes great damage uh, at pretty much any level in the game. And continuing that trend, this time I'm going to talk about Blast Arrows. Now these function in much the same way, except they are fired out of your bow. And if you use them under certain conditions, they can be a lot, a lot more powerful than the throw blasts and uh, pretty much easier to use. So these blast arrows can be bought in an, an unlimited amount from Camellia's Apothecary in Grand Sorin. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when in the story it unlocks that you can buy these. It could be from the start or when the first time you reach Grand Sorin, but from memory, I think it only unlocks after a certain point in the story. I can't tell you exactly what that point is, but I'll uh, just keep checking back at a store and they should pop up. So the big drawback about these arrows are they are quite heavy and you're going to go through them really quickly. So you're not really going to want to use them as your standard arrow. I would kind of save them for when you know a big boss encounter is going to come up or if you're trudging your way through Bitter Black Isle because they can be a really big boon then, but their weight makes them not that practical to carry around all the time. So as their name suggests, they pretty much work like the throw blasts. They do a blast when they hit the enemy or an explosion. And they're really good for taking off pieces of armor and parts of the, uh, the enemy you're hitting, but also doing excessive amounts of damage. Now, when you use them normally, they're, they're pretty good. They're not insanely powerful, but they're pretty good, especially when you combine them with the skill of the ranger with their like heptad shot or their, um, their tenfold arrow or something that shoots multiple arrows at once, you can do quite a bit of damage with these. But if you really want to see the full potential of these arrows, what you have to do is get Conqueror's Periaps. Now the Conqueror's Periaps are consumables that give you a very short buff that buffs all your damage. So if you take one of these uh, when you're using the arrows, then you're gonna do a lot more damage. But again, if you take four of these Conqueror's Periaps at once, you're going to do an extreme amount of damage. I believe they only stack up to a rate of four. Uh, beyond that, I don't think they have any use or uh, the four is their maximum efficiency level. But once you've taken four of these, you're gonna, know, you're gonna notice a massive increase in your damage to the point that you can sometimes two shot or uh, two tenfold shot some enemies. I got a bit of, um, Footage here in the background, you can see me taking out Chimera's uh, Gazer, the first boss of the um, the Bitter Black Isle, also the Dark Bishop, and right at the end, Diamond, uh, or Daemon, sorry, just um, completely destroying him with these arrows. So they are quite powerful, but again, you have to carry around quite a few arrows with you, so it can get a bit on the heavy side. So as far as the Conqueror's Periaps go, you can actually buy them in an unlimited amount from Fornival. Fornival, you might remember, is a person of interest in one of the quests. He's undergoing a trial. People think he's a bit dodgy. I don't know where you stand with his, um, his uh, shady dealings. But if you can put those aside and save him, if you can produce enough evidence to make him innocent, then he will actually open up a shop in the Noble Quarter in his, uh, in his house, Fernival's Manor, and you'll be able to buy an unlimited amount of Conqueror's Periat. So I highly, highly recommend saving him because these things are really hard to come by otherwise. I think you can only buy them in limited amount and then you have to sleep and try and refresh that shop. So it's far easier just doing it from Fornable. So I hope you get a lot of use out of them and down Bit of Black Isle pretty soon. Anyway, if you did like this video and it helped you out, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions or any better setups or way to use the uh, blast arrows, then let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Um, Emu.